a rainy and overcast day today here but we are preparing some meals that we can have ready and available and it is always so nice to have some extras that you can use such as your baked goods that you can go ahead and pull together to make up some wonderful and family enjoyable meals. Today we're making bagels. I remember living in New York and tasting my very first bagel. At that time, little shop that we would go to in Manhattan and every time my mom would come home, she would bring these delicious bagels all piled up high in a brown paper bag. And boy, I really enjoyed when she came home with those bagels. At that time, we would put things like cream cheese. Sometimes she would even bring home some smoked lox. Now, as time has gone forward, I try to eat as healthy as possible. And that is all the more the case when it comes to our breads. So being able to make your own bagels at home is such a great benefit to you and it can even be tastier than the ones that you may be sourcing from the local stores. And then you can decide on what healthy toppings or spreads you would like to put on them. But let's get started with this simple sourdough bagel recipe. first thing that we're going to be adding is our starter. Here I have my starter, which is a combination of soft and hard white wheat. After I use my starter, I'm going to go ahead and refeed so that it'll be ready for the next thing that we'd like to do. I'm going to be adding a half a cup of starter. To the starter, we're going to go ahead and add one cup of water. And then we're going to add about two tablespoons of honey. Get all your starter in there with all that wonderful nutrients. And then I'm just going to mix these portions up just a bit before we add the rest. Now, please take note, I will not be adding any salt. I often, really, I really don't add any salt when I'm cooking here, especially if I'm going to be adding something else to it or eating other things in addition to it, you want to keep that sodium minimal when you're preparing foods and keep in mind what will you be eating with your final product and how much salt is already there. Next we're going to be adding some fresh flour that has been recently milled. We're going to be needing four cups. You can mix as you go so that you can better incorporate your ingredients.
can also add a little bit more water if you do need it to incorporate. And I used my Nutramil to go ahead and make this wonderful flour available. You want to just go ahead and get your hands in there. Once you get to a point where you're not able to mix anymore. Just grab and pinch in and bring it together. Once you have incorporated your dough into a ball, you're going to go ahead and cover with a moist towel and let rest for one hour. So now we have finished that very first rise and you'll notice when you're gone. using whole grains that you're not going to get that large of a rise right right now in these short phases but once you press on and you're baking in the oven you'll see that you're going to get what they call some oven spring and this is where you'll see that great rise happening and you'll also see it when you leave it to rest for a longer period of time. So right now our dough is looking pretty good. It's already in the shape that I need it to be in. So what I'm going to do, I just added a little bit of flour to the surface and what I'm going to do now is put it back in the bowl Until and I'm going to stay. And this part is so wonderful. As I had mentioned in another video, these moments of long standing resting allow you to do your other tasks in your home. So if you have some laundry to do, you have some homeschooling to do, you have some reading to do, just enjoy these moments as you wait for your dough to rest and additionally ferment for you overnight. I will see you in the morning and we are going to be making some delicious bagels. So our bagels have had time to rest overnight and it is the next day. We are now going to be working with our dough to bring it together and make little balls that will then be our bagels. So the dough had risen a good bit. When you're working with whole grains, you're not going to see as much of a rise right now, but it definitely has risen some. What we're going to be doing now is apportioning our bagels into sections that we can then shape into our standard bagel size and shape. What we're going to do to make it a little bit easier is, as you can see, I have already floured the surface here. I'm just going to use my rolling pin to flatten it out a bit so that I can then get those sizes cut. Roll 
this into a little ball and then the fun part. You are going to go ahead and make a little hole. And you can just do that with your thumb coming out on the other side. And there you have it. I'm just going to set this aside for now and then we'll transfer it over to its own non-stick sheet. I have a helper here that wants to try, so she's going to go ahead and work on making some. You got to roll it first and then you make your hole. Okay. I have some more helpers here, it looks like. So we are going to work on it. To, I have another helper here, it looks like. So we are going to, you're going to dry your hands. And here's one for you. And then there's one last one. Let's get all that dough. Incorporated, put a little flour, I'm gonna roll it into a ball, and then make your little hole. And while you're doing this, go ahead and get yourself a pot of water going and let it boil because we are going to be using that to boil our bagels in just a few moments. Right now, however, we're going to let these rest for another 15 minutes and then we're going to get started with the cooking process. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put the bagels in and you'll find that they will begin to float some. And you're just going to do this for 
about a minute or so and then you're gonna go ahead and transfer it back to your baking tray now ideally if you have a strainer that you can use so that you can go ahead and get that water to drip off that would be ideal but if you don't have it that's okay I'm just gonna use my regular handy wooden spatula to get it up for me While I wait for the others to boil, I'm going to go ahead and put my toppings on. I have some kelp granules, I have some garlic, and I have some black sesame seeds. I want to go ahead and do that while it still has a nice film from the boiling water so that it will stick. can go ahead and leave some plain this is where the fun comes also where you have a variety of things that you can do I'm gonna go ahead and put some honey on another Alright, we are all set with that process of quick boiling them and now you want to have your oven ready to go. I'm going to set it for 350 and I'm going to be baking it and watching it for about 25 to 30 minutes. And here you have it delicious bagels that you can use for your breakfast or any time for a snack paired with any of the toppings that you would like but please do make it healthy i hope you and your family will enjoy these bagels and as always be more and more sustainable and be blessed